All right, welcome back. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up next month, and it can also be really a tough time for people struggling with addiction. Of course, that's always a you know big issue any time of year. It's certainly a big issue in the community. And our next guest have some advice. Joining me is we have Dr. Renee Solomon with Forward Recovery, and we have Joe Engel as well. Thank Hello. you so much Hello. for uh, joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. So, so first of all, I mean, this is this is such a huge <coughs> issue, so important. I mean, especially around this time of year. Kind of, what are some of the things that you see? It's, it's a difficult time for people because they use it as a measurement of their lives, where they're at, in their relationships. So people, people often use more drugs and alcohol during this time to not deal with their feelings mm -hmm. and to push it aside. So people in recovery, though, also don't have the option of using their original coping mechanisms of drugs and alcohol, so that's difficult too. And I think for people, they should be thinking about their lives throughout the year and not use Valentine's Day or New Year's as a way to evaluate it. And, and Joe, I mean, this hits close home to you, right? It does. Mm -hmm. Tell I, me a little about that. I lost uh, my oldest son. He was 19 years old to a heroin overdose back in mm -hmm. 2011. Yeah, and you know, we hear so much about that in the news, and uh, you know, with, especially with the opioid crisis going on. I mean, sure. you know, what advice you know do you have for people to pay attention? <laughs> as 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 a parent, pay attention to what your kids mm -hmm. doing. Pay attention to who who who, who your kids are hanging around. Um, mm -hmm pay attention to the school grades. All, everything that happens in, in a substance user's life, all of, all of the signs are, are, are there. Mm -hmm. they, they, they start getting new friends, they, uh, start, the grades start failing, their face is flush often. So look for the usual suspects, the, the usual signs. Yeah, because a lot of times, you know, people say like, I never saw this coming until something Not my happens, kid, you know? not my kid, right? That, 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 that's what they say. Yeah. They can't believe it's their kid. Absolutely. And, and as you were saying with, you know, Valentine's Day coming up, you know, a lot of times pe people turn back to old habits and, yes. and things like that. So what are some tips people can do kind of right now to kind of, you know, if they're making progress, kind of stay there and, you know, get back on track? I think it's, it's, it's yeah, continuing to stay on track. If you have an issue with drugs and alcohol, getting help. If you know people that are having issues, as Joe said, with your children, you can sometimes see the signs or just checking in and, and increasing education. You need to do a lot more with that. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, and then and Joe, you, you also have an event coming up, right? You have uh, Black Monday. Tell I, me a little bit about that. Real I quick. do. It's the sixth annual an event. It's uh, we build a carnation wall. It's part memorial, part celebration of life, part fundraiser for my for for, for my uh, nonprofit. There is no hero in heroin. Um, we have different color carnations to um, signify different stages of addiction. Red for those who have lost someone to a substance use passing. White for someone who's overcome their addiction, and uh, black for somebody who's still in the throes of addiction. All right, well, you know, certainly a big issue, and I know we could talk more, but, uh, you know, we got to wrap things up. We, we will, we thank you guys for both being here, and of course, we'll post um, some links online to some resources because, you know, that's the one thing there is always help available, and we yes. want people to know that. Thank you guys both so much for being here. Thank you for We'll see you guys after the break. Stay with us. Thank you.